So, so, oh, we know you know, for if you ain't know, first off, shout out to Tops for the overflow. See me on wax is okay. So, this is mind blowing to me. Uh, if you've listened to the underwhelming album by Singing Mafima and his clearly more talented friends, that project, the first song on that project is this uh, upgrade, and it features. My man, uh, Boy Choco Molefi, a.k.a. Choco Boy, on that verse that I was just playing. And my brother Derek uh, Duzan, a.k.a. Diedrich, on the final verse, right, on the third verse. And it's a pretty good song. It's been the most played song on the album by, by a wide margin, right? It's at least twice as popular as the second most popular. And that could just be because it's the first song on the project, so people listen and uh, they are they are done with it yeah <laughs> you know after that but in any case it's the most played song so far on the project if soundcloud stats anything to go by but that's not what i want to talk about what i want to talk about is how this is my song and i've had this version of the song for close to a month now 26 days and both verse even longer than that uh choco boys verse the verse i was just playing right now even longer than that and there is a line on there that I only caught yesterday. And I'm going to play it again, and I'll play it a couple more times. I'm going to play that line again right now. Right here. First off, shout out to Taps for the overflow. So the line it says, first of all, shout out to Taps for the overflow. And there's a story to go with that. So the beat I am rapping to was made by a friend of mine, Tapiwa Mambara. May you so rest in peace. So Tapiwa and I were part of a... I founded a small hip-hop collective back when I was in high school, back in Harare, called Freaks of Nature. And among the uh, freaks, spelled with F-R-E-A-X-X, of nature and among the members of it were my cousin Nunu, uh, known as Sexy G at the time, uh, my cousin Takunda, uh, we called him Magical, and Tapiwa, who, who we call Levante. Now, Tapiwa Mambara was an incredibly talented uh, young man. You know, everything he put is, he could, he, he could do everything. He could dance, he played cricket, he played soccer, he could rap, he, he was a poet, he ran, he was the most talented person across the board in our clique. Uh, then I left for the U.S. and we reconnected when I was in college. And in 2008, I believe, Tapiwa sent me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, charity. Ah, Mazita Manyeng. That was that was what we called him back in the day, <laughs> Sexy G. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he called himself that, but that's what people called him. That's what his stage name was. Um, so Tapiwa Mambara sends me this beat and says, Ah. Uh, Mavima, and my name was Psycho, by the way, Psycho, the P-S-Y-K-O-P-A-T-H, you've heard the name, you can begin your search, high school bars. Uh, so, you send me this beat, Shikanzi, uh, record something on it, right? And I was, I, you know, I wasn't really, you know, even up to this day, I'm not really much of a rapper, but I just like to do it sometimes. And I never got around to doing it. And in 2012... Uh, Tapiwa Mambara was involved in a car accident and he passed away. Young man, one of the most talented people that I knew. And I had this beat in my, in my Gmail. So when I started to think about just doing this project, I was like, let me see if I can find that beat. And I found it. And I'm like, all right, cool. Now, in honor of him, I'm going to find a few friends and uh, who are really good. And we're going to celebrate his life by, by rapping to it. So I did. I found... Uh, my my boy uh boy choco or aka choco boy uh who i who's a good friend of mine from from college at michigan state university he's originally he's from botswana actually but you know he's been here fantastic poet fantastic rapper we collaborate often then derek uh Deirdrick, as his stage name is is one of my one of my best friends my fraternity brother he does a third verse so i tell bo when we were recording this song that, you know, yeah, this beat was made by my friend Tapio, who has since passed on. 
So bear in mind that Bo is not from Zimbabwe. He doesn't speak Shona, but he's made a few tapiwas in his life. And I don't call tapiwa taps myself, you know. So when I heard this verse and it said, first off, shout out to taps for the overflow. I was like, wow, that was so heartwarming to me that he never met my friend. In fact, my friend had died before I even met Bo. But for him to, to shout him out unprompted in his own verse and... Not only shout him out, but use the term Taps, which is a nickname for Tapiwa. But that's a very familiar nickname, you know. And because I never called him Taps myself, for him to even channel that, I was like, that's beautiful. That had me emotional, man. I'm like, wow. That's, that's you know, I feel like we, we just built a bridge here. And that was so nice. So I loved it. And I love the verse to this day. In fact, that's one of my favorite bits of the album. In fact, both verses. But that part for me was like, wow, man, that's heartwarming. So I was telling my mom this story yesterday on the phone. I'm like, yeah, when you listen to that song, she just listen to it. I'm like, yo, I love what Bo does. You know, he shouts out to Pure as well. And I said the line again to myself. It's like, yeah, first of all, shout out to Tabs for the overflow. And in that moment, because I had never said that line to myself, I had just heard it. I was like, Oh my God, this guy is a genius. Because you say taps, tap you are right, for, for the overflow of love by giving us this beat. But also, the second layer that I never caught on is, you know, taps, like actual faucets, and overflowing like water, right? It's like, shout out to taps uh, for the overflow, right? Like, you know, which I was like, wow. Not only did you j just channel this man's memory by calling him taps, but you also had a double entendre about his name, uh, meaning... You know, shout out to Taps uh, for the overflow, right? And that's incredible. So we're going to listen to it one more time and then celebrate it. And I'll also put the link to this particular song in the description of this video. But it just blew my mind, man. And I fell in love with the verse. I fell in love with the song. I fell in love with the people all over again. So we're going to listen to it one more time here, just that part. And I will put the link to the song in the in the in the in the in the in the description here. First off, shout out to Taps for the overflow. <laughs> oh my God, so genius! Love it, I love it, I love it, and I am done. But it just goes to show, right? When you work with brilliant people. Even your own projects will blow your mind. You keep learning things about yourself, about them, and about the entity that is the piece of art you made together uh, long after you've made it. And I just wanted to, to share that with y'all because it really blew my mind. I wanted to write it as a status uh, initially, but I was like, no, nah, man, you know, people got to hear this. This is incredible. So, Boy Choco, Bo, Choco Boy, you are brilliant and I'm honored to have created this work with you and honor to be your friend, your brother. And Tapio Mambara, may you continue to rest in peace, man. You left us one heck of a legacy and you can't believe what people say about you today, man. It's all it's all um celebratory. And I hope this adds to part of your legacy, my man. All the best and thank you everybody to for watching this video. Talk to y'all soon. One. <laughs>